Download free design files from ambitious.co.za slash laser art. Just click on the link in the details below and enjoy. Today we're going to be focusing on laser engraving on a rose gold plaque and we're going to be going through our settings with a fine tooth comb because other settings really matter when engraving on these type of things. So download your vector file and let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do here is make sure that we separate our cutting from our engraving. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our outer line and make sure that we change that to a different color. I'm going to be going with purple. And once we've done that, we can then choose what we want to be engraved and cut. So we're going to leave the purple line alone because we want it to be cut. We're going to change the black to be engraved. Let's have a look at our settings. I'm going to be going with the speed of 500, it's always my basic choice. And power, I always recommend going in between about a 30 and a 40%. If you go any more than that and it will definitely start melting and your sharpness will disappear so today i'm going to be going for a 35 percent power and my scan gap i'm going to leave identical to where it is because i want a really crisp engraving and the rest is going to stay as is i wouldn't recommend going any slower or any more power than 40 percent next is our cut settings from here i would like to change this to 30% speed and I'm going to change this to 55% power. Reason being is if your power is too strong on the corners you'll start melting the edges and if you melt the edges it's very difficult to get off the protective layer on the rose gold plaque otherwise you're just going to suckle and you're going to end up scratching so that's why we must make sure that our power is not too much and it will come out really really nice. Now that we've done that, you can change the size of your plaque. I'm going to change the size of mine because I have a specific um, agenda behind it. So let's quickly have a look there. I need mine to be 75 by 65. So 75 there by 60, that's perfectly fine. And there we are. Now that we've done that, we can head on to the laser. So today we're going to be using some rose gold plaque this is a fake aluminium top with ABS at the back um, and this does have a protective layer on top so that you don't end up scratching it. And what we need to do is basically engrave through this protective plastic which is quite hard and then the top layer of rose gold off. So let's quickly load this in and get it ready. Now that that's done, let's quickly go to the computer. Here is our artwork here. Made sure that our settings are all still the same. And let's quickly just download it. Oh, this looks actually really good. Let's go and assemble it. Now, everything we have out here today is a cloth to clean it off with. We have solution, which we're going to need either, we can use printing cleaning solution or METS. I have a knife, two double sided tape, and some tweezers, and our plaque. First thing we need to do is give it a good clean. So let's quickly do so. Now that we've given it a good clean, now we need to remove the top layer that is protecting it while we're engraving. 
All you're gonna need is a pair of tweezers or a knife. I use tweezers much easier. So let's do it. Guys, just make sure that you are very careful when dealing with the corners and trying to remove the protective layer, otherwise you will end up scratching your engraving. All you need to do is just get a corner and it just comes off easy right so now of course don't forget to get all the little ones in between you can leave them there because you can't really see the color difference i like to peel out the pieces that you can quite see the difference in which will be the bigger o's in this and i'm going to leave the little ones in between simply because you cannot physically see a difference so let's quickly do that All right, now that we've removed the plastic layer, we have got a beautiful looking engraved plaque, which I am extremely satisfied with. There's no burning and plus our engraving is crisp because our power wasn't too high. You guys, however, can change the font or the artwork inside to whatever you're doing and for whatever purpose you're doing. But I will be doing it for this box and it's a very simple process just going to be putting some double sided tape and putting it inside. So I'm going to quickly do it. And there you go guys, another beautiful laser art program done. If you would like to see more of these, please subscribe if you haven't, like it if you like the video, and if you've got a comment for something for us to do in the future, we really do appreciate it. So leave us a comment and we'll see you in the next one. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. AM.co.za Achievement matters.